history of sheep and goat is as old as our civilization. Goat is the first domesticated animal, even before cattle. These small ruminants need less space, food and water compared to dairy animals. Management is easy. It can survive in drought and even when the crops fail. Sheep and goat eat and digest almost anything. They can survive for seven days without food and for three days without water. It can adjust to almost any climatic conditions. Dairy animals are feeling the heat of global warming in recent years. But these small ruminants grow better. Sheep and goat farming is a good option for landless rural population. These are called as a poor man's ATM since it can be sold and encashed at any time. In our society, beef is not acceptable for Hindus and pork for Muslims. But sheep and goat are the favorites of all. Hence the marketability is more. Milk, meat, wool, leather and manure are the products of these small ruminants. Sheep and goat farming is seen in all the states of our country. There are about 40 registered sheep breeds and 20 goat breeds in India. According to the animal census of 2003, we have 6.5 crores of sheep and 12.5 crores of goats in our country. Karnataka has got 75 lakh sheep and 45 lakh goats. These small ruminants are seen in all dry regions. Keeping sheep herd in agricultural land for one night for manure is an age-old practice. A few farmers raid them for weed control in ereka nut and coconut gardens without intercrops. Grazing sheep before ploughing and after the harvest of crops will generate some income along with weed control. Weaving of blankets out of sheep wool is the traditional home industry. But the quality and quantity of wool from our indigenous sheep breeds is very poor. Cost of the wool matches with the cost of shearing. Hence, meat is the only viable commercial product from sheep in India. Ban on cow slaughtering in a few states has increased the demand for sheep and goat meat. In organic farming, sheep excreta or the pellets are preferred. All these have increased the commercial importance of sheep and goat farming in recent years.